we're in Microsoft Excel, got a pivot table here. We want to include filtered items in totals. I'll show you what I mean. At the moment, the pivot table and pivot chart showing three product categories. I only want to show one product category in my chart. Now just look at these figures for cookware. For example, Ireland has achieved 0.85% of the entire revenue from our company. And I've achieved that by going to show values as percent of grand total. Now, if I just show the cookware product category, then it bumps up to 3.5%. So this is 3.5% of the cookware revenue, not the entire revenue of the company. So it's excluded filtered items from my calculation. I'll give you another example here. We've got a list of our sales reps, the sum of their revenue, and then their percent share of revenue. And I've achieved that by going to show values as percentage of parent row total. Now, if I just wanted to show the top 10 sales reps, just watch this figure here, 3.48%. Delcy Silberman, I'll show top 10 performers. This bumps up to 10.33% for Delcy Silberman because it's 10.33% of the total of the top 10 performing sales reps. I don't want that to happen. I want it to be a percent of the entire revenue from the company. So how do we do this? Well, if I go to the design tab on my ribbon, which by the way, you'll only see if you're in a pivot table and I go to subtotals, there's an option here called include filtered items in total. And that is the key to solving this problem. But you can see it's actually grayed out. It's grayed out because you need to use the data model to actually use this piece of functionality. So how do we use the data model? Okay, let's go back to our first example. So I'm in my pivot table. You need to show the pivot table field list that normally appears on the right of your screen. If you can't see it, just right click and show field list. Now what you want to do in this list of fields is to go right to the bottom and you have an option here for more tables. If you click on that, it'll pose this question to you. Do you want to create a new pivot table? To use multiple tables in your analysis, a new pivot table needs to be created using the data model. Now we're not using multiple tables, but we do want to use the data model. So we're going to click on yes and it will create a new sheet for you with the same pivot table. Now I am going to need to reapply the percentage calculation I was performing. So that's a right click in the value area of my pivot table, show values as percentage of grand total, and I will need to recreate the pivot chart and get rid of these buttons, right click, hide all field buttons, and now I'm going to exclude all categories except cookware. And you can see it bumps up to 3.5% for Ireland. That's what happened last time. But if I go to the design tab on my ribbon, go to subtotals, and now have this option available. If I click on it, it reverts back to a percentage of the grand total. Let's see if the same works for the other pivot table. So remember what you do is you click into your pivot table, Scroll down your field list, click on more tables, click on yes. I need to apply the correct calculation. Maybe some formatting here. Let's put these in descending order. So if I show the top 10, and then I go to design, subtotals, Include filtered items in total. That bumps this total up to the total revenue across all our data. And it adjusts these percentage calculations to reflect that. Now, if you're creating a pivot table from scratch, this is something you ought to know. I go to insert pivot table. You have the option to add the data to the data model at this point. If I click on OK, then if I go to design, subtotal, 
this option is then automatically available to you. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.